Hello and welcome back to another English analysis. Today we'll be examining an extremely popular TV show, Game of Thrones. This show follows the very brutal and dramatic kingdom of Westeros, where medieval families scramble to obtain the Iron Throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms. Game of Thrones is well known for its wonderful dialogue, which is able to express the character's thoughts and feelings. This particular clip will teach you some important vocabulary and phrases that you can use to express your own thoughts and feelings. One more thing, while you're here, why not install the eJoy Chrome extension? This tool will allow you to look up any words and phrases that you find in this video. So let's not waste another second and get right into it. Before we begin, please take note of the four steps that we're going to follow. Number one is to watch and enjoy the video. Number two is to look up any new words and phrases and make sure that you understand the video. Number three is to do the exercises within the video. And number four is to review the vocabulary and the sentence structures that we've learnt from the video. So first things first, let's watch the clip. So sit back and enjoy. You're right. You're not guilty of your father's crimes. And I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Then why are you here? Because I need your help, and you need mine. Did you see three dragons flying overhead when you arrived? I did. And did you see the Dothraki? All of whom have sworn to kill for me. They're hard to miss. But still, I need your help. Not to defeat Cersei. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. Hell, we almost took it and we didn't even have dragons. Almost. But you haven't stormed King's Landing. Why not? The only reason I can see is you don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. It's the fastest way to win the war, but you won't do it. Which means, at the very least, you're better than Cersei. Now it's time to analyze what we just watched. You're right. You're not guilty of your father's crimes. And I'm not beholden to my ancestors' vows. Ancestors. An ancestor is someone who was born before you and is related to you. For example, my grandparents and my great-grandparents and my great-great-grandparents are all my ancestors. This is another example of a great word to add to your vocabulary. Make sure to practice this one. Then why are you here? Because I need your help and you need mine. Did you see three dragons flying overhead when you arrived? Also, did you guys know that you can use the eJoy extension to look up any words or phrases while watching this video? Maybe you can look up overhead. Overhead. This word is used to describe something that is above the level of the head, mostly in the sky. For example, did you see that hot air balloon flying overhead? I did. And did you see the Dothraki? All of whom have sworn to kill for me. They're hard to miss. Hard to miss. This idiom is used to describe something that cannot be ignored or is very noticeable or eye-catching. For example, did you see Jack's new car? It's hard to miss. This is a pretty frequently used idiom, so please make sure to practice this one well so you can add it to your vocabulary. Another great feature of eJoy is the word hunt tool. With this, you can see how different words are used in different contexts just by clicking on the orange button. So click here to see how hard to miss is used in other videos. Right. It's hard to miss. Who's sitting in court waiting to see the judge? What are they looking for? It's quite a useful tool, isn't it? This tool was made to help you all understand how to use the right vocabulary and sentences in the correct context. How about trying it out? But still, I need your help. Not to defeat Cersei. You could storm King's Landing tomorrow and the city would fall. Hell, we almost took it and we didn't even have dragons. Almost. But you haven't stormed King's Landing. Why not? The only reason I can see is you don't want to kill thousands of innocent people. Innocent. The word innocent describes someone that has not committed a crime or done something wrong. For example, I swear I didn't steal the cookies. I'm innocent. It's the fastest way to win the war, but you won't do it. Which means, at the very least, you're better than Cersei. At the very least. 
This is an idiom that is used to indicate the least likely outcome or thing that can happen. For example, using eJoy English will change your life, or at the very least, help you become much better at English. This is another great addition to your vocabulary, so please make sure to practice this one well. That's it, we've completed the first two steps guys, congratulations. Uh, in the third step, it's time for you to do some exercises with the video. So your choices are to do the quizzes to improve your listening comprehension, do some dictation to practice bottom-up listening or listening for details in the clip, or your last choice is to practice your speaking skills. So you can practice more with the full clip on the eJoy Go website. You'll need all the links below. And for the fourth and final step, you'll need to review all the vocabulary that you've picked out from this video every single day to make these words become part of your everyday vocabulary. So guys, keep on practicing. Also, please make sure to check the daily challenge and review on the eJoy app or the eJoy extension. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today. If there's something you would like us to analyze, please, please let us know. And also, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel for some more awesome videos. But for now, guys, it's goodbye. Have a nice day.